So, so it was basically colors and Sonic, Sonic Two with some different add things. I don't know. It's just colors. So I'm ignoring classic Sonic, and I'm just saying it's just colors. So, in, so I'm saying in this game, it's going to be you play one, you play Act One, Two, Three. Act 1 is Classic Sonic, Act 2 is OC the character, who I think is 2D, 3D, but I can't... Um, if, they show... If, if anybody on the Sega staff is watching this video per chance... If First, you just took, why? If you just took the Sonic from, like, Adventure 2, Battle, or just Sonic Heroes, and you just made a Sonic game with just that Sonic, and that feel of those two games, I give you sixty bucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, you heard them, so, man. I mean, yeah, I'm give more. <laughs> but no, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, but I'm sitting there because, and you know, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm at this point, I'm like, why does Sonic go in? Why does Sonic go to two D? You know, in colors, you basically play a two D game with three D sections. No. <laughs> The... And they, they've gotten better, but I mean, it, honestly, I'm I'm starting to slowly get hop on the boat of why do we need three gameplay styles at all? Because because of and classic elitist ass. No, because they are not confident that they could make a no, game. No, because there's somebody on their team that just doesn't realize that their game is basically Mario, but unlike the Mario franchise, they didn't do a 3D 2D split. <laughs> what they? I was about to a video I had watched a while back. A guy was talking about his problems with what was going on in the Sonic series and the way he put it is best. It's that 2D Sonic happened, you know, but that was like Genesis era. But then they made the adventure style and then they changed it up and made the boost gameplay. Sega has split their own fan base. So much. Oh, well, you say they split their own fan base, but I think the fan base kind of split itself because, again, the elitist classic um fans. Well, okay, okay, okay. I okay. think Sega uh, still on. owns Spiral Knights, and I don't think anybody knows what that is. Well, no, but here, here's my problem. I'm, 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 I have a problem with that. So, you know, you're going to split the fan base when you jump to 3D. It happens. Yeah. You can't not do it because you can't make the same game. Like Ryan said, the people that made, made Super Mario, that played Super Mario 64, like Super Mario 64, are not the people who, um, original Mario. They're not the for. people that are jumping to the store to buy Super Mario Sunshine or Super Mario Galaxy. They just want Super Mario Brothers. The people that played but, Super Mario, that played Super Mario 64, are not gonna go to the store and be like, well, you know, man, I want Super Mario Brothers. They're probably, if they don't like Super Mario Brothers. Just want to play Mario Sunshine. Just want to play Mario Galaxy. Just mm -hmm. want to play whatever the one with the cat that talks is. Odyssey. The, yeah, that one. Also, it hasn't been confirmed if the cat can talk. But that's not the point. Yeah. yeah it, when you so when you make two when you get two D three D Sonic, yeah, no, that's gonna be divisive. You're gonna split that fan base, and then you have to get into the discussion of do you ever go back? The problem is that. Sega, interestingly enough, instead of doing what they were doing and what Nintendo was doing, because at one point they were doing the same thing at the same time, but then as Nintendo started doing it more, Sega quit doing it all together. And that was that, you know, Don't when they wanted to make it. Super Mario Brothers, they made a game that played the Super Mario Brothers. But then everyone wanted, can play. And then when they wanted, well, no, but they did, but they don't make, they didn't stop making the other Mario. You had Super Mario Galaxy, even New Super Mario Bros, New Super Mario Bros. So you had two different series of games. You did not sit down and play one game that was both. <laughs> When you sit down and play Sonic, you know you had Sonic Adventure, Even which was a 3D Sonic mm -hmm. game that could actually control in a 3D space versus Sonic Unleashed, where unless you're moving in a straight just line forward, if you just took, just make put Sonic, just take Sonic Heroes, get rid of the, the teams of three, 
And just put Sonic in there and just be like, hey, yeah. Oh my god, I never there. realized that looks like the N64 Rumble pack. Wait, no shit, saying, Sherlock. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying, yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting there like the boost gameplay, whether you take away the 2D, 3D thing, uh, when you play it, you, you sit there, don't boost, don't run forward, try to run left and right in a circle. And you can't. It doesn't happen. Mm. Do you know what Sonic does? I'm pretty sure Sonic's feet move to the left. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't, he cannot run in a circle. Literally, play Sonic Lake, any version, run in a circle. The game wasn't but, designed for that. Like, my, that's my problem. It is like a tunnel. You can kind and I'm not of saying, do it in I'm the not saying, you know, Sonic games need to have, Sonic like, expansive total. areas. But I am saying, when I want to run in a circle, mm -hmm. I should be able to run in a circle. Final, Final Sonic the Tunnel. <laughs> That's why I prefer Adventure over anything past 06. But Adventure has its own problem. It does, but I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I would prefer being able to move around in a 3D space the way I think I oh, should. damn it. So, hmm. uh, um, but no, what, so, you know, you're going to devise it, you know, the Mod 64 and New Survivors, they made their, the one. they made their games separate, so, you know, that's why Mario doesn't have problems with that. But Sonic, on the other hand, when you play mm, Colors, you are not same. playing a 3D Sonic game. But people so, say Ah! And for some reason, people want to be playing a uh, a 3D, 2D Sonic game. But you know what? They don't have to make a 2D... Really, the problem is that Sega doesn't think they can make a 3D Sonic game anymore. They've split their... No, it's not that they... It's not even that. It's not that they did that. It's that they don't think they can make a game that is just 3D. Ah. They are not confident in their own game design. Because they made 06. And also... 06 was bad. And also because Sega does not polish their games. Well, what do you matter? People love Adventure. People love Adventure 2. But what people... But, you know, when they sit there, they don't make a 3D Sonic game anymore. They make a 2D, 3D Sonic game. But the Sonic Forces, they have shown 3D gameplay of it. But you'll probably go 2D. Yes, yeah, so they have shown that... The, um, uh, like, the OC... Oh, come on. The OC a character, the gameplay was there, and they showed a 3D stretch, and then they actually did show this Well, 2D. see, my entire problem with that thing is the fact that, literally, when I play a Sonic game, I'm not playing a Sonic game so I can play me in Sonic. I am playing a Sonic game so that I can play but Sonic. It's... But ah, you don't have or to even another Sonic character. But you don't have to play you. You can play your OC. You know what? Originally, the people were joking because they were like, "Hey, that kind of looks like Tails, but without his tails." And someone was like, "Hey, hey, you're in the future. You're like in the future, and you run into like manly. You like run into manly Tails, and mm -hmm. he's like, huh, Tails? I haven't go by, gone by that name in a while. But go by Miles now." <laughs> kind of funny to go by tails when you like when you don't have any okay well it's not as it is exact the funny thing is they got even if they wanted to do an idea like that they would not be able to do it because there was a story in the archie we just tangented it through all of that well, no, but anyway, there was a story. Was a joke. Yeah, was no, no, I know it was a joke, but I'm pointing out they wouldn't be able to do that because there was a story in the Archie comics, kind of similar to that. And because of that controversy, was the one guy in the Archie comics. They ain't gonna go anywhere near well, them. I'm just saying, like you know, when you make a Sonic game, I mean, okay, in Adventure, you know, the whole reason there are multiple game plans, and I think Adventure, you, you know, you could probably say that any Sonic's borrowed it's borrowed itself into this because of the way Sega receives. Um, receives feedback. Sonic Venture had six gameplay styles. Sonic Venture was a really good game when it came out, and people really liked it. And so, but the reason they had six gameplay styles is because they're like, hey, look what the Dreamcast can do. And the fans asked for a bunch of those! Well, yeah, but they were like, hey, look what the Dreamcast can do. So they made Sonic Venture 2, and they added in three. I guess they decide we're the most popular. Here's a hilarious piece of trivia. The fans wanted a shooting gameplay style, but they thought Sonic or any of his friend characters wouldn't work using a gun. Well, and so... And so, the, so, they sit, so they sat 
Come on. So the Sonic Adventure 2 came out, had multiple gameplay styles, again, really real with these. And they're like, oh, okay. Hey, that, that went pretty well. So they made Sonic Heroes, which was based all around that. And you know what? It didn't do as well. I mean, people, but it's interesting that now, recently, in recent days, Sonic Heroes is basically... Sonic Heroes, actually? Um, if you do research of, like, articles and stuff when the game was new, everyone was loving Sonic Heroes. Because it, it was focused on speed. It only got backlash. Down. Hmm. Yeah, what? It, it'll touch the ground. See the world spinning. Upside, upside down, down, a mighty crust without a sound. <laughs> Feel your every step aside or turn the page. Save it for the Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Breaking thing. through your crazy maze, a laser beam my eyes on you. Save it for when we get the Sonic Heroes. Whenever that day comes. Time to go deal with the Gerudo. And play their Time to Time to go uh, change being the only man in the city of women. And now, as an interesting point to change this LP off, I'm gonna do dungeons slightly out of order. Just, just a bit. Because I realize Also, to prove that you can do it. It is fully unintentional, I will be the first to admit that, but you can We're gonna do, do them slightly out of order. But, first group though. So, if they spot you, you'll get thrown in jail. But, but we have this thing called an arrow. Da, 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 da. Showtime. Find the carpenters. Talk to them. Basically, they sat there and were like, okay. So, Multiple gameplay style. Now, a warning! If these guards do, like, a couple of hearts of damage to you, you just get thrown in jail for no reason. Also, I think I've brought this up before, but So, I... you can lose to these guards without losing all your health. It's just a couple of hearts. So basically, they, people were like, you know, people said, we want this Sonic. We want good Sonic gameplay. And so they made Sonic a new, but they made it, you know, it was like the more literal version of just Sonic. And so then they made Sonic Colors, which was just Sonic, but if you, but again, it's not just Sonic. I mean, it's not just a 3D game, it's just it's a 2D, 3D game. Because they're not convinced that they can make a game that just has Sonic in it, in a 3D space the entire time, and it'd be good. Because what, what happened when they did that, they made Shadow. People don't like Shadow. And most of the- They had one gameplay style the whole time, it was in 3D. And most- and they made Sonic 06, which had three different gameplay styles. But I'm gonna say they were pretty samey. They just had tweaks to them. Most nostalgic fans prefer the 2D, so it's but, just but a... my problem with the enti that entire argument, because I don't... You can say that's the argument, but I think that is not really what it is. If it, that because was if not that the was, case, no, Classic if, Sonic would not no, be his own character. No, stop, stop, stop. Sonic Generations did that. It made sense, because it was like a throwback. And again... Sonic isn't in the my entire problem with that entire logic right there is the fact that my problem two, with classic Sonic two, is that he shouldn't be in any other game other than Sonic Generations. Well, I'm just well, it, well, yeah, I, mean, I understand why he's in the game, but even Generations have a problem because he's in Generations, but Sonic still moves from a 3D to 2D game. Why? Why is Sonic in 2D ever in Generations if I have a gameplay style that is strictly 2D? That's why I don't think that's even the argument, because basically what you're telling me is so that the oh, that the only generation that should even be good is the 3DS one, because that whole game is in 2D. Technically, but people love, is but, but, but semantics. But no, I'm like, <laughs> you're 2D. You move left and right across the screen. Mm. It's 2.5. You run across the You're moving, across in. You're you moving into the screen. The only time you run forward in Sonic Generations for 3DS is in a little cinematic where you're running, looking at Sonic's back. Because it looks cool. <laughs> Which, honestly, you can probably say the same thing about regular generations. Except sometimes it's actually platforming. Bad platforming, because you can't platform in those games. You know what you can platform? In 2D. Games weren't made to platform in 3D. 
which I think is a problem. Maybe the problem um, is just that Sonic doesn't work in 3D. No, I do not because no, because Adventure is fine. I don't like Adventure's controls, and I can't replay it because of that. But you know, you do you. Mm. So see and see, you know, you sit there and you say, hey. They can't. They don't make Sonic games because of, because of 2D and Sonic fanboys. But then you make a comment like that, like Sonic doesn't work in 3D. Adventure no. doesn't I play, work. I play well, heroes. you're gonna sit there and be like, I play heroes. I play adventures. Sonic games. works in I 3D. I play colors, and I can honestly say that I would rather play Sonic Heroes. Oh well, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> so you're gonna sit there and tell me like, hey, the only game I like of 3D Sonic is Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes. And then you're gonna say one. Sonic can, works in 3D, but only this one game. And honestly, if I'm gonna sit there and say something works, it's not because of one game. It's because of a few I, games. I, 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 I say that if we're talking about the games, 3D Sonic games that make the claim that 3D Sonic works, it's not Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog is when I started to feel that Sonic had terrible there controls. Funny, I think Shadow has better controls than Adventure. I don't, but I think they all have pretty shitty controls. Because Sega doesn't in polish their games. In comparison to Hero, uh, to Sonic Heroes, which is basically on a rail 90% of the time, I think they all have shitty controls. Because Sega doesn't polish their games. Okay, when you see it, okay, again, you make that comment, and you're basically saying, no, none of the games ever really worked. And so you're gonna sit there, but then you're gonna sit there and be like, but a solid 2D fanboy's fault. Wait, 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 just remember But essentially, the way I've, I, but, hey, I've determined Carter, Carter really only likes 2D Sonic. Yeah. But it's a 2D fanboy's fault. Hello. I don't have a problem with 2D Sonic. <laughs> if we were make a 2D Sonic game, why do we not just have 2D Sonic games? We did that. Remember, remember when we did that? In fact, we're doing it right now. We have, again, my, I have a serious issue with the fact that Pathic Sonic is in Sonic Forces, not just because we didn't need him again, but because we're literally releasing a classic Sonic game. Sonic Mania is a thing, which means literally, they're sitting there and they're like, we can make a 2D Sonic game, we're gonna make a 2D Sonic game. Then we're gonna make a game with 2D Sonic and 2D 3D Sonic and a character that is also 2D 3D. Because we can't make a 3D Sonic game. Because everyone thinks adventure is bad. Thank you, Eagle Rapper. Yeah, and who is following that? Well, you, you should say that, and you say that, but you don't like Sonic Adventure. I mean, you're gonna sit there and be like, uh, the, you're sitting there. His saying, problems. Okay. You're sitting there saying that Sonic did, Sonic never worked in 3D, or you're saying you're saying it, that it did work in 3D. But then you're gonna say that Eagle Rapper is wrong because. Sonic Adventure isn't that bad, but I also don't like Sonic Adventure because his problem is horrible. With Sonic I mean, your comments contradict themselves. I mean, you're but basically saying Eagle... the only time that it ever worked was Shadow the Hedgehog. Ego Raptor's problems with Sonic Adventure, even as someone who doesn't like how it controls, I feel he went too far. No, because no, because how did you go too far? You don't even like playing the game. Because the he shit. He intentionally tried to the break controls. It. No, he intentionally, he intentionally broke the game to make it look But bad. according to you, it's already broken. It never worked in the first place. Okay, is that what you do when you play a Sonic game? Is that you just play it and then out of nowhere you fall through the like, level and you die and you're just like, oh, that happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do that in every game, personally. I tried to replicate what he did in Adventure and I couldn't. I'm just saying. I, I don't I even like know Adventure. how he did that. Honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm with Ryan. If you made another adventure game, I'd play it. I mean, I'd probably play Forces, but... I'm not even, but, saying, uh, I'm not even saying you made another adventure game. It's like I said before, is that, you know, in my opinion, I thought that even though it was, like, really stiff, because you basically gained momentum, and then you literally had trouble losing momentum in that game, if you just made the controls off of Heroes and just made a fucking 2D Sonic game, uh -huh, you're okay. fine. I thought the problem with Adventure was the exact opposite. I thought you were too loose. You were slipping and sliding everywhere. Yeah. Like, like a greased up deaf guy. Oh no, I never thought about heroes. Hero! I still stand by. I am surprised heroes is not, um, 
more loved because it basically answered all of what everyone wanted. Um, all of what everyone wanted. The game doesn't take itself too seriously. You primarily play as Sonic, and all of the other Cat. gameplay styles don't intrude on speed. Not like getting caught in here is I hate the whole speed argument. I don't think that is a thing. I what? think that is a thing people falsely think about Sonic. That is not what makes Sonic good. Again, you have not seen what I have. Sonic is fast, man. Sonic is Sonic. I, I mean, I have seriously never played a Sonic game and said to myself, I am moving too slow. In this... Back round two, motherfucker! Maybe we shouldn't leave the prison so I'll open, but... In but this no, game, I'm... if you, uh... If a uh, fish sees the bobber, it catches onto it, and I start reeling the there fish. There we go. And, 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 you know, and I'm... Twilight Princess, whenever that would happen, they immediately would go away. I would immediately lose them as soon as I uh, try to reel it in, because you have to work that <sighs> at non hook like some banality. I can't think of one. The... I... Let me uh, just say, if someone saw oh, you playing uh, Twilight Princess fishing, they would think you're doing something else at first. I don't mind the fishing in this game. Better than the fishing in Twilight Princess? No. Well, like you said, the I would never agree that because I will. The sit fishing in the Wii version. No, of I Twilight will legitimately Princess. sit down and play the. I will just go to the fishing hole, sit in a boat, and fish in the Wii version of Twilight Princess. To be fair, my... I seriously. Genuinely want to skip the golden scale every time I play this game. To be fair, the fishing in it goes back Princess. to our little side quest conversation. I don't think the gold scale See, all is a comparable reward for fishing in this game. See, it all comes full circle. I mean, when I can spend literal hour trying to find the one fish I want because I'm not because RNG isn't in my favor. I'd rather just be dice roll. But we can all agree. Found him. We can all agree on one thing. Roll goal is awful. Yes. I still made it. Why? <laughs> Why did the you? The reward is not comparable. It's not. Why did you do? And that? in the grand scheme. And see, he still did it. See? No. That one was for closure. No. 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 Okay. So, so, so we determined that closure is a good no. reward. No. Okay. The thing about roll goal is. <laughs> How did he get back to this? <laughs> I, I swear, you, do, you, need to, you need to start acting like the, uh, the judicial system of the, our government. Okay, <laughs> the case was closed. Don't open the folder back up, son. Close the folder. So what back you're saying? Door. So what you're saying is we need a gal um, goal and when Okay, the... no. The thing about roll goal is the only reason I beat it. Me, Sean, and Carson were sitting around one day, and we were, like, just casually playing the game and complaining that Roll Goal was terrible. But I started messing around with it, and I beat a couple of levels. And Sean was like, well, you actually beat some levels. Could you get the lure? And I said, you know what? I'll give it a try. And I did. He asked me. I, I honestly, I sat down and tried to do it one, a, a few times in my life, and I don't think I'll ever do it because yeah. I don't want the frog lure that bad. Oh no, it's not worth it. But you, that one, that one day I played really and good. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever be satisfied enough to justify playing that mission. Oh, the, the roll goal. Because, and, I, and I'm a complete like I I, yeah. I have a I have a need to make sure that my games are complete. I will do side quests I don't want to do for awards I don't want. Just to make sure my game is complete sometimes. But the that... completionist. Yes. We're a Gerudo now. I have several questions. Time to play the terrible shooting Gerudo game. That means you're legally a woman. Okay, guys. So my question of the day is... What do you guys think of the Gerudo Fortress? Personally, I don't really like this part of the game. The forced stealth section is really terrible in my opinion. 
And when you fight the guards, I find it really obnoxious that you can get caught if they knock you down or get rid of a certain amount of health. That part bothers the fuck out of me. I also find the fortress generally kind of confusing. At least you can use arrows to knock them out. That helps a lot. But I really don't like this part of the game. But at least after you get that Gerudo card, you can just walk around the fortress all you want. At least the overall stealth section isn't too long, but it is just kind of clunky and out of place. But anyway, I would really love to know what you guys think. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments below. Or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links are in the video description. Now as always, I need to be a show for a minute. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and leave some comments. If you're new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscription button and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please ring the bell next to the subscription button. That gives you the proper notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. Doing all of these things really helps out the channel, and it really helps our communities grow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.